seed faith. Or a robot is believed to be the man who opened the body of Christ to the revelation behind what we call the principle of seed faith. And I must teach you. Please listen. I'm about to share with you a very powerful key. There are not many times I tell you I'm about to share something deep. I want you to believe it. This principle has been abused, but there is a balance. First Corinthians 9. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Sorry, Second Corinthians. Did I say first? Second Corinthians 9. Let's see the principle of seed faith. What is it? Verse 5. But this I say then. Because of time, we'll just go straight. Thank you. Thank you. This I say then. But that's verse 6. I'm sorry. 6. God attaches giving. He, he, he correlates giving to sowing. Are you getting my point? The art of giving. He likens it to a farmer. Please let's read. I'm about to show you something. But this I say. He that soweth sparingly shall also reap what? So he's talking about sowing. Sowing, is that true? And he which soweth bountifully shall reap also. Next verse. Now he says, Every man according to his purpose, according as he has proposed in his heart, so let him, so giving his sowing. Are you getting my point now? That's the revelation. He shows us the relationship that when you give, you are actually doing what? Sowing. He says, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. So he talks about a sower as a giver. The first revelation of seed faith is that every giving is sowing. Let me explain the law of the seed for you. Please write it. The law of the seed is part of the principle of seed faith. Everything is created from a seed. Everything is created from the seed. A man puts a seed into a woman. She gives him a baby. Is that true? The structure of the kingdom. Every time Jesus speaks about the kingdom. He says the kingdom of God is likened unto a seed. A farmer went to sow. So everything in the kingdom operates based on seed. Write it, seed harvest. See, just draw a line, seed harvest. That means every harvest you want to see in your life, I'm teaching you the principle of seed faith now. You must understand the law of a seed. That your harvest, according to Genesis 8.22 and 2 Corinthians 4, is dependent on your seed. That means when you see that there is any harvest you desire, find the seed that can produce that harvest. Honor is the is the seed for what? Access. Thank you. I taught you this already. So every time you want access and doors are closing, what is the seed? You want a harvest of honor? When God wanted a family, He gave His seed, Jesus Christ. He sowed Jesus Christ in the earth and He brought many sons into glory. Are you getting my point now? So this is a very consistent principle. The gift of a man is the seed for greatness, the seed for prosperity. Tithe is the seed for open heavens. Prayer and fasting are the seeds for revival. Nothing is going to change it. People can teach all kinds of garbages and theory. Prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. Prayer is also the seed that produces the harvest of 
breakthrough among other things is any man afflicted James 5 13 let him pray hallelujah the baptism in the Holy Ghost is the seed for walking in the spirit and the manifestation of the gifts of the spirit so you see that every time you desire a harvest I'm teaching you the principle of seed faith now every time you desire a harvest find out what seed Dr. Mike Mudok said whatever you have not gotten is because you do not yet know how to receive it is someone getting blessed now the principle of seed faith look look at me everybody the principle of seed faith works on this revelation sowing something i have by faith in expectation of something that i do not have that i believe god will give me are you getting the point now sowing something I want something and that I can lay down a seed as a symbol of my faith. That's why it's called seed faith. Are you getting my point now? That you can lay down something connecting it to something you are trusting God to do. This is the summary of the principle of seed faith. Does it work? Absolutely. It has a place in the kingdom. It is a powerful principle I have seen in my own life. Hallelujah. I touched a bit on it, the law of honor, commanding results. The principle of seed faith is that you connect with a seed, a desire that you have, something that you desire God to bring to pass in your own life. You can use a seed to tap the grace of God upon a man's life. You can use a seed to connect dimensions and anointings. It is very possible. You can tap, you can use the principle of seed faith. How many of you believe it? It is a principle you begin to practice. So, if somebody buys a car or you want to get married, Pastor Williams is married. Bishop is married. Shade is married. You package a seed and say, Man of God, I'm trusting God. Please hear this. It's not just a desire. A seed can provoke certain things to happen in your life. Are you getting my point? It has happened in my life. I live in this reality. The powerful thing about seed, let's connect it with that teaching on sacrifice now, is that in practicing the principle of seed faith, the Lord himself tells you what to lay down. Attaching your faith to it for something you desire. I cannot count how many times God has asked me to empty my account into ministries and into the lives of people and all of that. Connecting to certain things. When I see a man of God that carries a grace that I desire, I don't just come and kneel down and say, please lay hands on me. I activate the law of seed faith. And I say, with this seed, it works. I told you last week, when Jacob, when Isaac wanted to bless his sons, he said, go and make me what? Venison. Bring a seed that will provoke something in my life. Please, listen. Don't think this is a gimmick to bring money out of your life. There are certain levels in this life that it will take seed faith to connect you into. You can enter cheaply into certain dimensions. As a ministry, God has helped us to enter some dimensions cheaply by the operation of the law of seed faith. I remember one of my pastor friends, he went into a city, he was starting a church and the church was not opening up. And he called me and I laughed. I said, my brother, stop struggling. Just get a pen and paper. Let me teach you how to cause a city to open. If you want to plant a church, when you enter the city, find the largest church in that place and package a seed. There is something that makes people to come there. 
Whether you believe in them or not is irrelevant. The people are not idiots. You cannot criticize the largest church in a city and expect your church to walk in that dimension. It does not just happen. So you sow the seed of honor and you get a reward back for it. I repented from criticizing men of God years ago when one elderly woman called me and said, My son, don't ever talk about any man of God again. I said, Mommy, I repent this day in the presence of God and you. My mouth is sealed. I can only attack wrong doctrines, attack nonsense, but I'm not going to mention any. If I ever mention the name of a man of God, it's because I'm saying something right. Are you getting my point now? You can never criticize Bishop Stan and want his anointing to come. It just doesn't happen. Are you getting my point? Honor is not just money. Honor is not just money. You hold people in, in true, genuine esteem in your heart. And then what is in them flows to you. You can provoke certain dimensions with a seed. Listen to me. God is speaking to someone. Every time you ask God for a new level, He will give you an instruction. There is something you must lay down to go up. You must lay down Isaac to go up. I know that a lot of people have deceived the church. They have manipulated things. But it does not mean that it's not there. There are some of us who have been praying about certain realms and certain dimensions. I remember when Ora Roberts was almost dying. There was a time he was almost dying. It was apparent that he was going to die. He called his wife and he said, Honey, how much do we have in the account? And she told him, He said, Go and sew everything quickly. He said, do you love me? He said, yes. She was trying to complain. He said, go and sow everything quickly. Do you know, as soon as they dropped that seed, all of a sudden, he started resuscitating. And he stayed many more years. Your seed can connect you to graces, doors, anointings, dimensions in the spirit. Please, I want you to believe me. There are people today I know that they carry certain things that God has put in my life in very evident ways. Oedepo came to Dunamis and he was talking about an ancient. He said that when you see my son, you see that he carries certain things evidently, correctly. I want you to know that your seed is one of the greatest miracles that can happen to you. It can end a season in your life and open up another season. We tried this this year as a ministry. I told the treasurer, package every collection in our koinonia service and we went to sow it. Goodness. 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 The results have been cheerful. God did something today that touched me in a very personal way. Hallelujah. Somebody sent a very humbling seed into the ministry today. Hallelujah. I want you to believe this. I want you to believe. You must not pay for everything in life. If you understand the principle of seed faith. I was sharing I think with the head of protocol. Every time I see people with vehicles and all of the rest. I tell them sow it, sow it, sow it. I went to just two days ago. On getting to my house, I saw a vehicle parked. Somebody bought a car for me and dropped it there. True story. Two days ago, somebody bought a car and dropped it. I just left it there and I just quietly came back. I have seen this thing work in my life. Every time what you have is not enough for a harvest, it is a seed. If you are afraid to lay it down, you can never rise to another level. Listen, God is speaking to many of us here. There are instructions that many of us are afraid. Money never leaves you. That is why money never comes to you. If you conquer greed in your life, you will rise to certain levels of grace. I'm teaching you these irrefutable principles of prosperity. Hallelujah. I remember a time when Kenneth Cope, um, David Oyedepo carried a seed and took it to his mother. He bought shares for her 
and a table with his first salary. And she looked at him and she prophesied upon him. She said, you shall be great. I never go home without a seat to honor my parents. Never, never, never. Impossible. Even if I'm dying of hunger, I know that that is what will get me out of where I am. Many of you do not believe in this principle. I'm challenging you. You can sow your way out of your present level into a level beyond your imagination. I will never forget when I carried singlet. I carried singlet and I packaged it and I blessed somebody. Pastor, singlet started coming. I didn't know what to do with it. Yeah, I'm not exaggerating. Hallelujah. There are so many gifts that people give me today I don't need. I don't know what to do with it, but it cannot stop coming because I know how to make it happen. Whatever is not in your life, you do not know how to receive. You must challenge yourself this night. Greed will keep you in poverty forever. The law of seed faith works. I've seen it break open doors for people. I'll never forget one woman who came to me. She was barren. And honestly, the, the normal thing is just to pray, cast out that spirit of barrenness. But the Lord said that she should go to her pastor and sow a seed. And she said, man of God, I confirm this. The Lord has been speaking to me about this. And she carried that seed. Do you know she dropped that seed? It was not up to two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. He didn't even pray for her. Who is God speaking to tonight? Could it be that the answer to the next level of your life is hidden in your seed. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. And I want to challenge you. There are many of you as you pray, God is going to give you dangerous instructions. That's why I said we we'll take the principle of seed faith at the end of this service. Please make no I love you too much to rob you of one naira. I love you too much not to tell you the truth. There are people that God is speaking to you right now. God is speaking to you and is telling you that this is the secret to enter the next level. You have been admiring people. You are seeing people rise to those levels. But you think it just happens by dash. It's not about wishing. There is a law. The Bible says as far as the earth remains seed time and harvest. I want to challenge you. We are going to pray. I want everybody before we pray, just take one minute and talk to the Lord. And say, Lord, what instruction are you giving me? What seed do I need to lay down to rise to a level? Please, if you do not believe what I'm sharing, don't worry. Don't worry. God is talking to many people right here. There is something you have in your hand. He said, what do you have in your house? Hear me. Many of you, this is what will break some chains in your family. This is what will break some cycles of poverty. Some of you, this is the seed that can make you graduate. This is the seed that can make your supervisor listen to you. If you don't believe what I'm saying, no problem. No problem. But I have seen in my life. I have seen God coming in fearful ways in my life. I will never forget when we were preparing for Massacre Crusade. There was nothing. We were broke to the core. It was the principle of seed faith that blessed and honored us. It was one man of God. I sent the charge card of one five to his phone. One man of God. I sent that seed. And almost every day Almost every day From the day we took a seed And we sowed it in Canaan land There is almost no day That nobody is sowing in this That somebody does not sow into this ministry Whether in cash Whether in kind Somebody needs to sow this seed for their marriage I'm speaking to you This is not coercion God is going to give I'm not going to give you any instruction Bring any money I'm not God is speaking to you you just talk with God for one minute and I'm going to lead us to pray. Somebody's miracle is long overdue.
Mande la capo salabara. Jesus, speak to us. Open your heart and hear your maker speak. There is always something you must do. You will remain at that level forever until you know how to provoke your way out. Or a Robert starts the body of Christ. This has been abused. But hear me, Koinonia. May the Lord God of heaven judge me if I stand before the people of God and mislead them. Seed faith will take you out of certain seasons. Will take you out of certain seasons. You don't need to know how the miracle will happen. You can provoke your way. You can provoke your way. There are people here, the Lord is speaking to you. The Lord is speaking to you. There are sacrifices that you are going to make. I don't pity you at all. I rejoice with you. I made this sacrifice. I told you years ago. I will never forget when I carried everything that I had. My bag, my whole belonging. And I took it for a prosperity convention. Home and abroad. I dropped it and the Lord told me from this day you have entered well. We are going to pray. If you cannot give up what you have at your present level, you don't deserve to move to a higher one. I'm giving you a key in the spirit. Rise up, please. We are going to pray. Shabbat Hallelujah.